Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 1st, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to another year. Happy New Year, everybody. We're going to start out here looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, as we did have a large plasma filament rip away right from the bottom southeast limb there. You'll see it in, in these last 48 hours of imagery. Pretty huge CME, not in an earth-facing direction. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, pretty quiet. One bright earth-facing region, but not even a sunspot. Other than that, most of the activity is turning away in the outgoing position. Looking at the last 48 hours here, you can see the towering large plasma filament that ripped away with a little earth to scale there. That's quite amazing stuff. Starting out the year with some intense weather and as well a lot of crazy weather alerts and a somewhat calm sun for the first day of 2022. Welcome everybody to the Daily Do. I want to thank you all for watching and as well for following along this journey. Having a look here at the multi-spectrum of the latest events, the last 48 hours, and as well here observing no coronal holes that are earth facing. Quick look at the ISWA space prediction spiral. And we are expecting some space weather up until about the 8th, the 7th and 8th. Other than that, we have no earth directed events. You can see that CME did shoot away north side. Having a look here, real-time solar wind, we're sitting at about 552 kilometers per second. We were jacked up to about 588 earlier today. And that is our coronal hole wind stream, which we were expecting. Solar X-ray flux remain, remains in B range after seeing a C-class flare yesterday. Looking at LASCO 2 and 3, showing the last 48 hours, or sorry, the last 6 hours on our sun. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 10, a low power of 10. So an amplitude of 10 and a quality of a 7.6. Let's have a look at earthquakes here the last 24 hours. As it's quieted down, it's sitting at just under 200 earthquakes around the world, according to USGS. We're going to start out here in Afghanistan with the largest earthquake, a 5.2 at a 234 kilometer depth, as well just north there, Tajikistan with a 4.2. Yon Yonokuni, Japan with a 4.9 and a 4.5, and as well Hasaki, Japan with a 4.3. South Kamchatka, Overnovsky, Russia, 4.6. Pretty deep earthquake here to report on the Philippines, Tabawan, Philippines, 585 kilometer depth, as well a 4.2 here reported, Timor Leste, 110 kilometer depth, way too quiet through Fiji and the Kermadex, Papua New Guinea, 5.2 here, southeast of Easter Island at a 10 kilometer depth. And as well, a 5.1 here reported, 35 kilometer depth, South Sandwich Islands. Into Central America here, 4.4 in Guatemala, 114 kilometer depth, as well a 4.3 here reported in Haiti. As things quiet down there, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, looking across the United States, most of the action has been coastline. Ferndale here with the sizable 3.3 earthquake, 18 kilometer depth. And as well, 3.3 Parkfield, California, but no major swarms to talk about there. Quiet through Hawaii as well. And as well here, a 4.3 here reported, Portugal, 6 kilometer depth. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Quick look at the last seven days across the planet. Some interesting action heading up through the Atlantic to the North Pole. Quiet through the North American plate as well, South America.
and recently pretty quiet through the Fiji region, expecting some deeper earthquakes here in the next 24 hours. And that is your earthquake update for January 1st, 2022. And this was December 31st, early morning, as thousands, hundreds of residents were evacuated after very strong winds came through Colorado's Boulder, Colorado, knocking out power lines and starting an early morning fire, which ripped through the communities, burning down hundreds of buildings along the way. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody. That is not a good way to start 2022. And this happened on December 30th. Wow. And we've got tornado warnings all across the U.S. right now. Southeast U.S. Let's have a look at volcanoes getting updated today. We've got Fuego, Guatemala, as well as Reventador and Ecuador. Nova Rupta has awakened again in the United States, Alaska. Hunga Tonga Tonga, as well as Reventador. Sabancaya in Peru. Sangue in Ecuador. Nevada de Ruiz, Colombia. Era, Japan. Semis Napochnoi, United States. Nevada de Chilean, Colombia. Shevelich in Russia. Simru, Indonesia. And that's all of the volcanoes getting updated today. Stay tuned for the volcanic activity report coming up over the next couple days here, 2022. We'll have a quick count of how many are erupting around the world. Have a look at satellite imagery from around the world. We've got flood alerts popping up here in Honolulu. And as well, we have one tropical storm to talk about. Tropical Storm Seth, who is finally named a day ago and is slowly grinding along the eastern coastline of Australia. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by MeteorWorth and daily events worldwide. Starting out here, home base, Ontario, Canada. As tonight, we've got about 5 to possible 15 centimeters of snow through southern Ontario that will be falling overnight from that system here. And as well, we've also got another Colorado low coming in for Thursday. Could bring some more snow, but definitely some cool temperatures here after this system runs through. We could be in the minus double digits by Thursday. Overlooking the rest of Canada and the United States, you've got that Colorado low developing. Will bring quite a bit of snow to Ontario, but as well, quite a bit of snow pretty far south through the United States, even through Texas. Having a look at the extreme cold temperatures that are slowly winding down here with the high pressure ridge from Siberia, minus 37 in Edmonton. Forecasted for next week, minus 40 in northern BC. And we've still got that big system off the coastline here. It's going to bring a lot of snow before splitting away and heading towards uh, the Aleutian Islands. High pressure ridge squeezing in, bringing the extreme cold temperatures. Overlooking the Atlantic, pretty big system here. Forecast for parts of Greenland. And as well, Iceland, as it comes through. Heavy snowfall amounts east coast of Greenland. Overlooking Europe. Large low pressure center eastern parts. And as well, you've got another one grinding down. Coming from the Norways. Great days ahead of you for most of Europe throughout this week and some cooler temperatures moving in later in the week. Still got some intense weather heading in through Pakistan as well Qatar. Overlooking Russia, Southeast Asia. Low pressure center moving in and pushing all of those really cold temperatures towards Alaska and over into Canada. Low pressure centers off the coast of Japan will be bringing quite a bit of snow. Overlooking Malaysia, Indonesia. Daily evaporation rains, no major weather events to talk about or systems. Overlooking Australia. You've got 
tropical cyclone Seth just off the coast of Brisbane, but it looks like it's going to be hanging about there. It may come on land later in the week. Other than that, daily evaporation rains northern parts and southeastern. And we could have a tropical cyclone here developing over Fiji and New Caledonia. Some rain expected for Honolulu, parts of Hawaiian Islands, clearing out by the end of the week. Overlooking South America, no major weather events coming your way, except for daily evaporation rains. Same thing with Africa, no major weather events to talk about, except for daily evaporation rains. I'm going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, pointing out the major lows spinning across our planet right now. And again, I want to thank everybody for joining this journey with daily events worldwide. Thanks for following. Thank you for all the memberships. Thanks for all the super chats and all of the support to this channel. Much love to you all. All the best in the new year. Happy New Year. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. Subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.